At New Forest Equine Vets, we are passionate about delivering exceptional bespoke veterinary care in and around the New Forest. We provide a portable equine veterinary service to ensure that horses can receive treatment in the comfort of their own home. Verena and I are both very proud to be the only equine practice in the area in, comprised entirely of Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, advanced practitioners and equine practice. One of the services we can provide is our worming service. This couldn't be simpler. We provide complimentary text message reminders for every step that's required. We can also even provide worm egg counts in the field using the world's first portable microscope, the Iolite microscope. So we have two main types of worms that we need to deal with in horses and those are red worm and tapeworm. Red worms in high levels are associated with severe inflammation of the guts which will lead to loss of water absorption, diarrhoea, dehydration and ultimately can cause death. So when you do your worm egg count it's very much dependent on the last worm that you've used or when you last did your worm egg count. You must time your worm egg count dependent on the egg reappearance period of the worms and this is different for every wormer that you may administer. The egg reappearance period is the time taken for the eggs to then mature after worming to then be shedding eggs onto the pasture. If you were to take a sample before the egg reappearance period, then you may get a false negative result because the eggs won't actually yet be shedded by the worms. So our aim is to use the lowest number of wormers per year in an individual that we safely can. And this is why wormer counts are so important because they help us to identify the horses that are shedding high numbers of eggs and the horses that are shedding low numbers of eggs. What we're creating is what we call refugia, which is a population of a low number of non-resistant eggs on the pasture to dilute resistant eggs. There's a common misconception that the worm egg count will tell you the worm burden of your horse, but actually it's telling you the number of eggs being shed onto the pasture, so it's an indicator of pasture contamination. Resistance to wormers is growing very rapidly, and so just administering a wormer is not a guarantee that you have effectively killed the worms um, inside your horse. Um, we would therefore strongly recommend that once a wormer is, admin is administered, that a faecal worm egg count reduction test is performed. This involves taking a faecal worm egg count 14 days after the administration of a wormer to make sure the level of worm egg shedding has been significantly reduced following the wormer administration. We would recommend performing the worm egg counts throughout the grazing period from the spring to the autumn. Um, but there's little point in performing a worm egg count over winter because the um, level of eggs shed from the worms during the winter months is significantly reduced so you may get a false negative result. We would, however, recommend using a wormer, moxidectin wormer, to target insisted redworm as these are one of the worms that are not detected on a worm egg count when they burrow into the intestine and are no longer shedding eggs at that period of time. So if we don't perform the worm egg counts whilst we're at the yard, you can take advantage of our annual um, targeted worming programmes in which we'll give you a little box to post the sample to us and in here is a little bag um, for collection of the sample. Just fill in your details and it's very important when you take the sample, the sample must be a fresh sample, less than four hours old and we do require five pinches of faeces from five separate faecal balls which should give us the most reliable results. It's important that the sample is less than four hours old and the sample um, is posted to us within 24 hours to try and minimise the risk of the eggs hatching and potentially desiccating which could lead to a false um, negative result. You just want to expel all the air from the bag, seal it tightly, fold it up, pop it into the box and pop it into the post to us. So if you would like all the hassle taking out of worming and accurate advice based on your horse's individual situation, then please complete our worming questionnaire and we'd be delighted to assist you.